there YouTube, it's Jordan, and today we'll be doing another comparison of the BoxyCharm and the Glossy Box. I wanted to do another one of these comparison videos, uh, partially because these came in the mail on the same day, and also because I feel like BoxyCharm beat Glossy Box so bad last month. I'll link that video down below. But, um... I wanted to go ahead and do these together, and uh, also, I know that BoxyCharm already, I guess the items got leaked early, because you could go online and find them at the beginning of the month, I think. And so let's go ahead and get into the BoxyCharm first, because I feel like uh, BoxyCharm is always the clear winner between the two, and I, and I just kind of want to get the uh, hard-hitting box out of the way. Let's start with this. They put their card back in there and it has all the information and the pricing. I guess they got a lot of complaints about that last month. It really wasn't that big of a deal, but as a YouTuber, it sure is helpful that they have the prices and uh, everything on here. <clears throat> Alright, let's go ahead and get into this boxy charm. Uh, the first thing I pulled out here is uh, the most expensive item in here, and that is the Blink. Uh, I This is the Blink Cosmetics Lash Primer. And I have it on my lashes now. It's actually the only thing I have on my lashes. You can actually wear this as a mascara. It is jet black. Uh, it's not going to do anything like make your lashes look longer or more voluminous. But it's going to set up your eyelashes for uh, any sort of mascara you want to put on. The benefits of this are it builds volume and makes your mascara look blackest of the black. And also uh, is supposed to help with growth and uh, strength of your lashes. The next thing I have in here, I haven't got to really look at, and it is the Per Perlice Daily Lip Nourisher. And so I've really chapped gross lips, and so I kind of am excited about this. Uh, this is what it looks like. This uh, runs for about $16 at the store. I mean, it really doesn't have a scent, and it's kind of like a good, thick, moisturizing uh, Thing. I think I'll probably use it before bed as part of my bedtime routine. I know they've run these before, and so a couple of people complain, but actually most people are really excited about this. They put in another Ofra liquid lipstick, and I have mine on right now. And this one's in the shade Pasadena. And I actually do like this shade a lot. It's not something that I would have picked off the shelf for me, but when I put it on, I was really impressed. I really do like the formula. It dried down very nicely, and I'm actually tempted to buy more of these. Um, yeah, so I like it. And there it goes. That Ofra liquid lipstick retails for $19.90. Uh, this is the Anderson Lily Manhattan Beach Hand Cream. And I really like this. Glossy Box had a hand cream in their last box, but I wasn't very impressed with it. It was pretty greasy, and this one isn't. And I am really impressed with that. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention with those Ofra liquid lipsticks is the only thing that I noticed that some people may not like is they have a very sweet smelling um, formula. And so if you're really sensitive to smells, that might be a problem. This hand cream is amazing, and it better be because it retails for $24. And of course, all the items in the Boxy Charm this month are full size. They are supposedly full size every month, even though I got some sort of uh, travel size. The next thing I have here is your mineral eyeshadows, and this is $21, and it is a loose eyeshadow pigment. And it's in Brown Hypnotic, which I'm really pleased because when I first opened it, I thought it was like this really bright purple, and I didn't know when I was going to wear it. It's actually on my eye list today by itself. I'm not a big fan of loose pigments, but for a brown, it's pretty, uh, it, I didn't have too much fallout, even though it is a loose pigment, and it's okay. It's not what I would have purchased for myself, but I'm glad I get to try it and review it for you guys. And like I said, that retails for $21, and so I will put the uh, price of the box right here, and I'm going to assume it's, it's a pretty good, it's a pretty good value for $21. The next box, glossy box of course, is also $21, and it does not ship all full-size products, and that's kind of the drawback with it, but uh, I'm really, I'm going to say I'm really pleased with this month. It was definitely a major improvement over last month. Let's get started. The first thing they have in here is this brow pencil, and it is the Studio 10 Brow Lift Perfecting Liner. Okay, so this is a double-sided pencil, one with a highlighter to go under the brow, and one with a, uh, this 
brown taupey color to fill it in. And it's what I have on my brows right now. I'm actually really liking it. I wasn't sure about that taupey color, whether it would really go with my brows. Uh, but it was pretty easy and um, I was happy with the results. I'm going to apologize. I know my hair looks like... That brow pencil retails for $20. Okay, so the next thing I have in here is the Ina Unani Dermo Defense Face Mask. And it's hydrating and protecting the skin. And I'm really excited about these two boxes because they keep on putting moisturizers in there. And I have extremely dry skin. And so this is great. I love face masks. And so I'm excited about it. And this one was $18. So that already brings the total of the box up to $38, which is $17 over what I paid for it. And these two items alone were items that I really enjoyed. Uh, the next thing in here is this Bios Biosense. And this is the Nourisher. And it's a it's a precious rose facial oil and it's not a full size it's uh, 0.17 ounces but this thing retails for $72 for a full ounce which is pretty expensive and I did put this on my face to this morning and I do like it it's got a rose type scent of course but it wasn't overpowering uh, I thought it was pretty nice actually and for me sometimes uh, scent and skincare is a big deal it just got this little dropper thing on there and so this uh, is worth about ten dollars which is actually a pretty good value for just a little sample it, and I love that even though it's in a sample they put effort into their packaging for such an expensive item I feel like they should really put effort into their samples I, I think it draws in a lot more the next thing I have in here is this Lexington Denny nail polish this is in the shade pillow talk and it is worth $19. And the last thing I have in here is Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Texturizing Salt Spray. And this is worth $3, which, so it isn't a hard hitting item, but it's something that I really like and I'm excited to try. You put it in your wet hair, um, you don't have to blow dry it afterwards, and it's going to give you a lot more texture in your hair. Kind of supposed to give you those beach waves. And I like the smell of it, it kind of smells like the ocean. So all in all, I know that BoxyCharm won as far as value, but uh, Glossy Box actually held its own this month, which compared to last month, it was such a blow away for uh, BoxyCharm. I am very uh, impressed and excited for Glossy Box because I will be continuing my subscription, and last month I wasn't sure if that would be so. So if you guys have any questions about these boxes, let me know. I'm going to insert the... Um, a lot of times what I do is I in, I calculate the number of dollars of product you get per dollar spent. And so that's the number for BoxyCharm. And then this is the number for Glossy Box. Of course, I don't know the total value of these boxes until I sit down and do the math. But uh, very impressed with both boxes. I'm glad I got both of them this month. Uh, tell me below which one was your favorite because I, I'm kind of at a draw right now. Uh, BoxyCharm, like I said, had more value, but I'm not for sure that it had my favorite products in it. So um, let me know if you guys want me to review any more subscription boxes, uh, what you guys thought. Uh, give me a like if you guys like the video. It sure does help. And make sure you subscribe for more videos. I think uh, next month we'll be doing our next giveaway, so keep that in mind. All right, you guys have a great day.